Miss Venezuela. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Judith Castillo-Uribe, and I'm from Buenos Aires, Venezuela. Thank you. And Miss Venezuela. And here are all of this year's Miss Universe contestants at the end of their swimsuit tour of Hong Kong. I've announced ten names. I've announced ten names. There are only two names left, and one of them is Miss Venezuela. to meet beginning with Miss Venezuela, right down here to me. She's Judith Castillo, she's from Caracas, and she is in her last year of high school. What did you say, Judith? I, I speak Chinese. You speak Chinese? No, some words. Just some words. Do you yes. speak English? Yes, little and slowly. Very slowly. Yes, very slowly. ¿Qué hace usted en Venezuela? Estudio y trabajo. She studies and she works. Yes. ¿Qué estudia usted? El, el último año de bachillerato. La, high school. Yes. ¿En el futuro va a colegio? Sí, ingeniería química. She wants to be a chemical engineer and she's going to college after she gets out of high school. Yes. Now, I heard her at one of the affairs that we've had speak Chinese. And I'm going to try to get her to tell you what she said. Lo que decía en chino, en su dicho. Hoy. Ahora, ahorita. Koei, si san, tai tai, an si che. Kamyang, ponyan, mi guayo sola, petio. Nankao, yi kowei, kim ni san fun ting han. Cho kowei, kanko, kim hong fala, ta che. Miss Venezuela. She was 18 years old. She's 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 113 pounds. Her hair is black and her eyes are brown. And there are the Miss Universe semi finalists in the swimsuit competition. Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela was born in the year of the dawn, 1958. She's a Gemini and moves at a very fast pace. In fact, most Geminis can accomplish several tasks at the, at the same time. Miss Scotland. Miss Scotland is a Capricorn and she was... Now we're going to learn which five of our 12 semi-finalists still have a chance to become Miss Universe of 1976. Steve Gilbert, may I have the list please? Thank you very much. The judges' ballots are tabulated by the accounting firm of Ernst & Ernst. And this list brings us to the second most important moment in this pageant. Here are the five finalists for Miss Universe of 1976. The first is Miss Venezuela. Our sexton and Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela, right beside me, you may have any stick you want, Miss Venezuela. Oh. Which one do you wish? There are many. There are many, yes. What is it? Four. Number four. Now, would you like an interpreter to read the question to you in Spanish? Yes. 
Very well. May we have the interpreter up here with us, please? The number that you have there is four. Question number four is when you meet next year's Miss Universe representative from your country, what advice are you going to give her? Cuando conozcas a tu a la próxima Miss Universe en tu país, ¿qué pregunta le vas a hacer? Excuse me, just a moment. What advice? Ah, perdón. ¿Qué consejo le vas a dar? See, my Spanish is not as bad as you thought, huh? So, to be able to win or to win the competition, and to be well prepared in your country, you have to win all the time. To smile all the time. In order to have her country very well placed around the world, she has to smile everywhere. All right, thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. Take your place with the girls. And judges, you have now seen and heard all five of our finalists. Will you please choose four runners-up and the new Miss Universe? I would hope that you just step right down here, please. One of you is about to become Miss Universe. The other will be the first runner-up. A title that is a very important title, because if for any reason this universe cannot fulfill her obligation for the entire year, then the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. I will announce the first runner-up first. The first runner-up is Miss Venezuela, Miss Israel, is Miss Universe.